Hello YouTube, this is Alexander Hard again. Today I want to talk about this W King D8 Bluetooth speaker which is actually a very nice compromise according to the price and performance. So I talk about this device because I bought it uh, two weeks ago and I am very happy with this uh, device. It gives a very nice and clear sound, very bassy and uh, uh, according to the price it's very affordable and if we need to compare it to height brand like Bose or GBL I can tell something what I can tell is it's not worth to spend so much money it's on height brand like Bose or GBL expect if you are a fanatic of this kind of brand because I went to store and uh, I uh, tested this equipment directly with my ears and um, I was very happy with Bose uh, of course I found uh, it, uh, it was missing a little bit um, about uh, bassy frequencies and I was very happy about uh, GBL but uh, of course the price was very high and so for to make a trade of uh, analysis if you want to have a very nice sound for not so expensive price you can turn yourself to this kind of brand which are actually one of the best on the market um, according to the price and the performance you will have here a very very nice sound uh, and and according to the performance uh, comparing to the height brand like GBL or Bose you will absolutely not be disappointed with this uh, brand which uh, gives me lots of happiness when I make some music inside and uh, so uh, the purpose of uh, the video is not to, to, to tell about the features or especially the features of this device um, uh, albeit I'm going to tell you something about uh, this stuff before to uh, cut to the chase um, so let's start and uh, let me tell you about the features it has on the back so as you can see uh, this device is uh, charging now to this uh, power supply with this uh, provided cable which is uh, provided in the package when you buy this stuff you can see here a uh, 3.5 millimeter jack which is actually the, the auxiliar, external auxiliar sound if you want to put another device uh, with a linear connection with a filler connection on it it's work very nice and also you will have a reset button deeply in the hole of this uh, 3.5 uh, hole so the chip C connection here is uh, able to charge it with uh, on in only a few hours it's very quick and um, here the plug the USB plug you will find here is is not to connect any flash drive device it's just for to charge your your phone or external device whose need maybe a charging helps you cannot plug any flash drive here for to listen music from it it doesn't work uh, and uh, I was very disappointed about that because I didn't know this fact when I uh, purchased it, this stuff so the purpose of the video is to tell about the power of this kind of device if you look on the internet you can see uh, some different devices like this and you can see some uh, device who uh, who gives 40 watts you can see also uh, some device able to give 60 watts and uh, this device is give f uh, for to give uh, 50 watts RMS it is RMS it is not RMS it's uh, what I'm going to show you here with this uh, little device actually 
my purpose is to dismount this D uh, this W King G8 and put a signal with uh, this device on it. I'm using this device to put a signal on it and uh, connect one speaker to this uh, device and see in real time the 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 real power of one output of course i will see the impedance of one speaker for to make it uh, according to the uh, demi load if uh, if it's about uh, 3.5 ohms i it can be the same because uh, according to the reactance of frequencies you can you can find different uh, the same results as a, a, a classical 4 ohm resistor so because this is the evening and uh, this device is very powerful i'm going to shunt the the other speaker with another uh, 4 ohm resistor for making the test so you will hear absolutely nothing and um, the neighbor also will hear nothing because this device is very powerful when you put the sound at the maximum level you can see the sound very far in the neighborhood you can believe me so uh, this is all I'm going to try to dismount this and connect the speaker on this device and see with the scene wave how it really gives in terms of power Here you can see the device quite dismounted, uh, partially dismounted. Uh, I need to reach the speaker inside for to take some connection from it and uh, measure the, the value about it. And uh, as you can see, the speakers are very nice made speakers. And you can see here the speakers for the high frequency sound looks very nice, very cool. I love this build. This is a, for me, a very nice quality indeed. As you can see, there is uh, two speakers, two, two little boomers, and uh, two high frequency speakers. And this is a very nice med, actually. Here it is, as you can see here, the, the boomer and the, the tweeter, which are supplied. Um, in parallel with the boomer, with the, this little um, unpo unpolarized uh, f uh, capacitor. And uh, I found actually a little mistake of connection because uh, this uh, Twitter was not connected in phase with the boomer. I had to change the, the polarity of the, the, the Twitter, nothing very significant, but okay it's good to i think it's a nice uh, thing to correct this stuff it was a uh, rotted uh, uh, opposite phase of uh, the boomer you can make this kind of job to invert this but when the twitter and the boomer are in the same plane in the same buff you can you can supply it with the same phase uh, at the the same plane this is a this is a good thing i think okay i had now to disconnect those wire and disconnect also this wire here for to not make some uh, trouble and uh, send it to my uh, dyno amplifi amplifier I'm just going to be sure about the impedance of the speakers because if it's not the same impedance than my Dino amp amplifier, it will not match with the good value. So the value of uh, the speaker you are seeing now is the value according to the continued current. Of course, this value will change um, with the frequency. If you send maybe something like uh, 50 Hertz in this, you will have probably uh, a reactance like uh, 4 ohm or more. Uh, this is the reactance of the speakers. It uh, shows 
uh, uh, a lower value than rated on the speaker. The speakers are disconnected and uh, one output is connected directly here to the demi load. We have here a 4 ohm uh, demi load and this is uh, the power meter and uh, actually uh, we are we are I'm going to to send a 50 Hz test tone. I'm not sure this is um, the best amplitude volume I can give, but uh, so I will make some play here and you can see uh, the frequency displayed is about 50 Hz and you, you can see uh, RMS value about 7.5 uh, what RMS? As you can see here on the, on the scope, you can see uh, the sinusoid, which is not very perfect. Uh, this is a sinusoid coming from uh, some uh, sample on the internet. Uh, so it's not perfect. We reach here something like 50 Hertz for a voltage of 5.32 volt RMS and it gives the power in RMS of 7.4 watts and the voltage RMS in this uh, in this device is about 5 volt and half so now I'm going to send um, uh, 48, 40 hertz uh, tone and you, you will see then the result is not the, the same So you can see the power is uh, more efficient and here you can see there is no distortion because there is a limiter inside this device which uh, limits the distortion uh, to have the, nice, the nicest, nicest uh, uh, sound as possible. You can see here a, a, a perfect sound wave about uh, 40, uh, 400 hertz and about 7 uh, 0.80 volts RMS, which gives you something of the mean of 12 volts 0.7 watt RMS for a voltage of 7.1 volts. Here you can see the frequency. Here, very simply, the period is about 12 volt, 12, uh, 12 uh, uh, watt RMS. So, what I can tell about the react of this. Um, the sinusoid is actually, you, you have here um, uh, a limitation about the, the saturation to have the best sound as possible, uh, in spite if the, if the system um, decreases the power to keep the good value for, to, to have the good sound. So, this uh, device is rated for uh, 50 watts, which is something like uh, what the other brand, and they did the same marketing effect to give a, a, a lot of power rated on this box. Actually, you can see the period is about two times 1200, tw 12, uh, two times 12 watt RMS. By two is about 24 watt RMS means then you have 50 watt non RMS. So the, uh, the the power rated on this box is not RMS value but uh, maximal wattage value. So you will have something like 12.5 watts per channel which is 25 watts RMS, unlike the 50 watts rated for this device. So we can uh, expect that this uh, brand is uh, quite honest, uh, actually, because this is uh, just the, the maximal voltage divided by two to have the RMS power. To have the RMS power, you need just to cut the um, the maximal power by two. 
So we have also, effectively, you have here 12.5 watts and 12.5 watts RMS, and you have 25 watt RMS in this box. But it works nice for this frequency because for the, I, I guess, I, I really guess the class D amp in this box is not um, performed to provide so much a lower frequency than uh, 50 hertz and it's uh, it's struggling to put um, 50 hertz uh, output this is the reason why you will have so much difference between the power with uh, the 50 hertz and the 400 hertz and this is the reason why sometimes for to test some amplifier you need to use a higher frequency to have um, a near uh, result because sometimes amplifiers are not able to to go so low because this is a, a just a little class D amplifier working with with a 7 volt battery uh, lithium ion battery so as you can see here you have the real power per, per channel for f 400 hertz and you can see it's a very clean power actually there is no saturation very nice uh, scene very clean sign here scene wave of, of 400 hertz this is the w king d8 and uh, this is a very very nice device and uh, there is nothing to compare with uh, Bose and uh, GBL because uh, it's absolutely worth the price and if you want uh, the cheapest uh, module at home to give you a very nice sound you can count on this device which is uh, very nice honest in terms of power because a lot of man manufacturers rate their products by the twice of uh, the real value like uh, like this device so the funny fact is despite the very low power the demi load is quite hot because you have here a sensor which uh, activates the relay for the fans and uh, it just switch on the fan for making the demi load cooling it's very hot it's very funny to find this demi load very hot like this just because uh, uh, from a little uh, Bluetooth speaker like this. So this is all for this uh, device which is apparently um, rated for 50 watts but it has uh, 25 watt RMS uh, because uh, 12 volt point five, 20, uh, 12 uh, watts and half per channel here and so there is no doubt about the honesty of the manufacturer of this device because um, all uh, manufacturer rated their product with uh, the maximal weightage actually so when you see other device like this with uh, 50 watts or 60 watts you guess you had to divide by two to have um, uh, to, to have the real power actually you need to know then uh, the difference of power when you are listening it the difference between 25 watt RMS and 50 watt RMS the difference in terms of power in dB is about only 5 dB. This is all for today. I hope you like this video. Until you see you soon.